afternoon. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Um, thank you for coming and uh, we are really honored to have you here. So as you can see, we have our guest, Etana, and uh, we have various people on the table. So if you introduce yourself from the far end, uh, Alright, hi everybody, my name is Josephine, I represent the Vines uh, Radio Team. Hi everybody, I'm Brian, uh, Programs Controller, Vibes Radio. Yes. You guys really wanted to introduce yourself though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Etana and I'm from Kingston, Jamaica. <laughs> um, Sandra for Pomoja Festival, the guys were doing the concert on Saturday. I am Nadia from Success Africa. Alrighty. So now we're going to have um, Brian. Say something for Radio Africa. No, from Vibes Radio. Standard media group. And, then, from Standard media. Oh and I'm ready to give an awesome show. My whole band is here. We rehearsed so long. I mean, the last rehearsal that we did, we wasn't even able to finish, you know, the whole show because it's 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 lengthy, but it's wicked. You know, it's ex I'm excited about it. And um, uh, the last time that we were here. I went through a lot of my catalog. Like I have eight albums and over 200 songs. So Whoa. yeah, I, it, the catalog is huge, but I'll try, I always try to cover as much as I can as possible. And I'm sure after the show is done, somebody's gonna say, well, you didn't do this song. <laughs> I am used to it, you know, but it, it's not possible for me to do every single song in one night. Definitely not possible for me. But I will do all the songs you know and love, and I will do them again, again, and again, and again, and again. Until you get tired. <laughs> Any questions? Yes, I have a question. Uh, my name is Peter Nziki. I have two questions. My first question is uh, your album features uh, quite a lot of artists in Africa, um, Stone Boy, and uh, of course Kenya for Myre and uh, Naigwe. How was it working? Why did you choose to work with Myre and Naigwe, not any other Kenyan artists? And then the second question is um, basically, uh, how was it working with those artists in a song, the album? Okay, so I chose to work with African artists because I think that we are coming to, we're merging in different ways. Um, African artists are doing um, dancehall and reggae same way and um, I've done some songs on Afrobeat just the same. But in all, I think it's a great idea that we're coming together, not just visiting countries, but musically too. And music is what I do. And um, what better way to uh, unite people from all over the world, our people from all over the world than music? What better way, you know? And why I chose Wiry is because I know I like I, I knew of Wiry um, from before from songs he's done and um, Nyboy we basically just went through like Instagram and Twitter and stuff <laughs> and um, and I chose my team actually because not just me alone my team chose Wiry. Um, will I work with other Kenyan artists? I definitely will. There's no limit to music, you know, and so the possibilities are endless and there will be more uh, to come definitely you know so look forward to that from the um, the upper end of artists to the new new faces that you may have never heard of I'm not afraid to record with a, a new brand artist um, because I think it's 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 a good thing to share you know and give other people opportunities to come up in music as well some someone gave it to me and i'm passing it on and so i'll have like major major artists like the vibes cartel and how was it working with him just wicked and easy he's just talented <laughs> massively talented you know so it was easy um in his situation yes you're wondering how did it happen while he's my it happens <laughs> and you know um but I work with the greatest of artists and I will work it with someone who is not known, especially if they're talented. Once the talent is there, so what if the person that they will have a name eventually that everyone will know, you know? Yeah. I have a question. Yes. So, album, the 14 tracks, they focus so much on 
the origin and the identity of Africa. Yes. Given that you're in Kenya right now, everyone listening to you, what is the one message that you would like us to get from your Africa? Wow. Mm -hmm. Unity and family. It's important for, very important for us all the time. Basically, I'm not saying that black people, African people are the only people who been through um, uh, wars that divided us and slavery and all kind of things that divided us. Yes, other races did too, yes. But I can, I'm African so I have to speak, you know, from my perspective. And I think that it's important that we focus on keeping our families together, um, leaving a legacy, keeping our generation strong from one generation to the next. When you're alive now, working in your time, you know that you're working for the next generation to come and we keep building and keep growing. And with unity comes more strength. And the more we unite is the more powerful we become. That's the message that I want everyone to get from the music that I create. If it's a love song, it's between people who are building a relationship, a marriage, a home, things like that, you know. We're powerful, but we need to become more powerful. Uh, Bob Prince from Tani Radio. Uh, my, I have two questions. One, you did the Malaika. What inspired you, uh, you know, do that Malaika song? and? And by the way, you did it very well because Thank you. Swahili, <laughs> it was really uh, catchy. Um, uh, two, which is your favorite song from every song that you Oh my God, song? what a question. Which to know? <laughs> yeah, it's been my, my dream to know. What is your, your, your favorite song you as Kitan? Yeah. Oh gosh, that's hard. But I, I heard Miriam Makiba do Malaika. And I I caught on to the song then. I loved it then when I heard it. But then the meaning behind the song, it's a little bit loud back there. Can you hear me? The meaning behind the song is um, about a man not having enough to marry the woman that he's in love with, right? But think about us again back to the generation and the strength of us as a people think about how many of us had to start from nowhere i had to start at the bottom with nothing marry a woman or a man yes with nothing and build from that nothing to something many of us some of us are still struggling now and that's what malaika means to me not having enough, but being able to build from nothing and making something great. That's what Malaika means to me. <laughs> and my favorite song, I can't choose my favorite song because in every production, right, of my songs, I'm, I'm writing, I'm in the studio when the, the music is being made. Um, I'm the one who, when the mixes come back, say, no, I don't like that. I need you to change this. I'm very involved in every production of every song that I do. And so it's hard for me to pick one. Um, I re that's the hardest question. Um, maybe, um, oh, geez. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can pick a few. I can say, um, I'm not afraid. Live and love life. Um, Love song, I rise, better tomorrow. I can go on and on, forget it. Mm -hmm. I can't pick one. <laughs> reggae. reggae, see? Reggae. He said, I love reggae. I, we can go on and on. <laughs> go ahead. Hi, I'm Chico. Um, nice to I meet you, Chico. To ask, um, what are the three things that stand out for you about Kenya that keeps you coming back? I feel like I'm home when I'm here. Um, in Kenya, you speak a different language, but if I speak Patwa, you understand. <laughs> See? Um, and our culture is a lot the same, a lot alike. You know, we cook some of the same food, we, we, we wear the same kind of clothes, we act, our mannerism is the same. I just feel like I'm home. The culture is rich, and I feel like though we're far apart, we're, you're, I mean, in Jamaica. Jamaicans are in Jamaica and wherever else they are in the world. But when I come here, I see 
the same people I see when I go to uh, Nicaragua or when I go to uh, uh, Colombia where there's Jamaicans. Everywhere I go, it's still the same. We are the same people. That's what keeps me coming back. The love that you guys have for reggae and the culture that is so much like Jamaica. I have a question. Um, basically, um, what advice would you give your 18 year old self right now because you have the experience in the industry? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Did he come to play? <laughs> now that I'm in the industry. Yes, I have a lot of experience in the industry. I would say you're right. You were right. My 18 year old self was right when I thought that I don't have to be naked to do music. And I don't have to lay with anyone in the industry to sing, because I know that I can sing already, you know, and, and, and sex doesn't make me great. Music, the music that I create does, and the love that I have for people, so I was right. Um, and I would tell my 18 year old self, girl, you have time. <laughs> You have time. Learn as much as you can and know that time is expensive. Respect it. I wish that I respected time a lot more when I was 18, you know. But then I don't regret anything in, in, that I've experienced. I don't I, I regret anything that I've been through. I think everything is just how it was supposed to be for me to be who I am and where I am today. Uh, my name is uh, Moise Huno from Saudi TV. So, Itana, uh, you, you're wearing a, a Kenyan uh, wristband. Yes, like I got it from the governor. <laughs> it's your second home. Yeah. Have you ever thought of relocating to Kenya? <laughs> <laughs> Many times. Many times over. Um, it's been a discussion, and it still is. And it still is a possibility, so... I see. I, it's you know I would want to be in a couple of places. Like I, I also would like to um, uh, have a home in 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 England because I love the way the weather changes mm -hmm. and the mixture of the people is so huge. You know, like when you go to to, to England, there's everybody. There's Indian, Jamaican, um, uh, Kenyan, people from Ghana everywhere all over the world and they're all in that one part you know that's why i love it so much and yeah kenya so okay you've been here for a couple of times what is your favorite dish here in kenya today i had um uh fuf what was it fuf ugali ugali <laughs> <laughs> Ogani, and I love the way they cook the meat up I know I'm not supposed to eat like red meat and I don't eat it a lot but I love the way they cook the meat up so every time she I come here I always <laughs> no but the, the last time when I came here I yeah. had the same thing but this was better Great. yes okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it was good and so um, I don't have a favorite dish I just love everything that you guys cook that's it Honestly, there's nothing that I, I haven't had one thing that I can say, oh, I don't like this. I like everything. <laughs> uh, hi, my name is Kido. I work for SP and Buzz. I have a question. One, uh, your album cover name is a Swahili name. Maybe you can share with us why did you have to do a Swahili name than any other name? And then my second question is that in a scale of one to ten, mm -hmm. can you rate your journey, your success, your achievement of music career? Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I always say when when I ask when someone asks me anything it, it, you know related to that second question I always say I'm not done yet there's so much more for me to accomplish and I feel like though I'm this far that I have not accomplished every like a lot yet I still feel like I'm not there yet you know um and so on a scale of one to ten I'd say ten because I, I I know the work that I put in but I know I'm not there yet you know I still have so much to go um, and why I chose Pamoja before um, I created the album the whole idea was to think of a way to unite families and people and, and, and us you know and the idea was also to collaborate with a lot of African artists or different African artists you know and what better way to say together than Pamoja yeah. And also, but she'll be here for a concert. 
Yes, please not. You are next. Uh, my name is Phil from Hamlet, Kenya. I have another question. Okay. Your music, the messages are very important to young people. Over time, this is where you are now. What is the most powerful awareness that a young woman like me or anyone in the room would like to do? Um, in life in general, you mean? Yes. Hmm. Time. I'm, I back, I'm back to it again because a lot of us, we will, I remember one day I was sitting home and I kept scrolling up and down for hours and I passed like four hours on social media, four hours. And I said, wait a minute. Did I just use four hours of my time that I don't know when, because we never know when it's our time to leave, right? Because we're not here forever. And I said, I never know when it's going to be my time to leave. And I just spent four hours of my expensive time <laughs> on social media for four hours. I said, nope, I'm going to college. And I registered for college that day again. And I made my plans of everything that I want to accomplish. And I you know write them down a middle list and each time I accomplish each one I cross it off it's not a bucket list it's actually writing my story completing the book making the right decisions yes and executing that action plan he just said we all have to have one and nothing is impossible and so for everyone um whether you're just starting or whether you're just realizing or you had that aha moment like, oh my God, yes, this is what I need to do. Nothing is impossible. Absolutely nothing. If you think it's possible, then it is. The only time it becomes impossible is when you believe it is not. And so time is expensive and use it wisely. Use it as if you have you know, worked, the, work your fingers literally to the bone to get it. And now that you have it, what will you do with it? It's expensive. Make people respect time, your time. Respect other people's time because you just never know. But what you accomplish when you leave is important. If not even for you, not for the world, but for your next generation. For the people who knew you. How you made them feel. What you accomplished to say, oh, she did it. Maybe I can do it too. You know? That's what I would say to someone, whether you're starting, you're young, or no matter where you are in your life, time is expensive. Use it wisely. Question. Uh, Etana, uh, allow me to ask this. Uh, um, you have fans and lovers who follow your music, your yes. journey here in Kenya. But what would you maybe tell them? Can Etana comment on her family? Family life, can you comment on it? Because um, years back, we you know, we follow every time. Please comment on this if um, you're okay with it. Comment on my family life? Yeah, you Well, I, I, I don't talk about like my, my family a lot in, in, in publicly because I try to reserve for me and and my family you know so i don't like putting my kids on social media and all of this stuff because i feel like that's for me but um i i i have a husband i have three girl two girls and a son but my son i had my son when i was a young girl and so right now my babies are five and eight and um yeah i'm very private with my my family life it, it's not perfect nobody's life is perfect no family is perfect oh we fight we do everything but at the end of the day when it's all said and done we remember our goals we remember why we got together my other half and i we remember why we got together in the first place what we mean to accomplish and we refocus on just that and we move on so my goal in my life, my goals in my life is not, I don't live just for myself. I never have. I live for my children and I live to make other people 
feel great and accomplished and feel good about themselves and life and everything. That's my, I feel like that's my duty. My duty is to carry people through spiritually, physically, mentally. That's my duty and I'm happy to do it, you know? So I never live for myself. I just don't. And that's my life. <laughs> then I'm taking two more questions. Yeah. One from her and... Uh, no. So you're going to go next. So one and two. Uh -huh. Okay. Tana, you recently launched your hair products. Oh, yeah. Tana Organics. Yes. And we have seen the acceptance the products have gotten internationally. Yeah, yeah. What's your plan about bringing the products to Africa? Well, I intend to have it in stores. Um, but it takes time. And I want to... I Not like I couldn't have came here now you know, and, and brought it with me and start the whole process. But I really want to focus on the show and the festival. And so the next time that I get here and I'm not doing a festival and not preparing for a show, then I'll get into the details of how that really works and how I can do that. I might have to partner with people here, you know, and, and I, I, I plan to do that. I want everybody in everything that I do. I don't want to be the only one earning. <laughs> I don't want to be the only one, you know, with everything. I want to, I want everybody to, for me, if I could have it my way, everybody would be just fine. <laughs> you know? Yeah, um, I know it's hard to tell your favorite song. Ah! Yeah, but you have been the most successful of all the songs you have. Wow. Mm. In terms of numbers. Yeah, propelling you to where you are today, or even. Okay, so um, "Wrong Address" was the first song that made the world know who Itana introduced me to the world. "Wrong Address." We don't want no trouble. That's the song. I keep going. Then I did. <laughs> <laughs> then I did. Um, I did a song called Ruth. Them can't dung and dilute, you know. But I'm not afraid is the one that really, really, um, yeah, it, it did it. It 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 got everyone knowing. Okay, this is a town. I'm I'm not afraid. It's still a popular song no matter where I go in the world today. Um, later. Um, I would say songs like reggae. Reggae hit me like a drum. That's a huge song in Brazil, um, Spanish speaking countries, French speaking countries, and here in Kenya too, everywhere, you know? So it, it depends on the time, because each time, each, you know, I'd say every other year, something else happens and another song goes somewhere else. and. You know, it mushrooms into something else, you know, so it depends on the time you're talking about because there's more than one song that broke in different periods and in different countries. Okay. Ready who? Uh, Sir, kindly. <laughs> He's got something called Jeans Garage. Oh, cool. So he decided because your sizing is getting you jeans. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to know. You came when up with that decision. Start, when did you start the company? Like six years ago. Six years ago. Oh, cool. Thank you. Ah, uh, thank you. Can I take it out? Can I show them? Yes. All right. Camo. Camouflage. You're bad. How you know my size? 